Hello everyone! Today we will study how to write a line graph report and we will identify which example is band 6 and band 9, which is based on the given standard band descriptors. As everyone knows, line graph is a graph that shows information as a series of data points connected by straight line segments. And it is also called time graph which means that line graph is a dynamic graph. However, static line graph is very rare. For line graph, we can use appropriate vocabulary and expressions to get a 9.0 mark. For upward trends, we use these verbs increase, increased, rise, rose, incline, inclined, grow, grew, Lip, leapt, surge, surged, climb, climb, and these are nouns that we can use. An increase, a rise, an inclination, a growth, a surge, and a leap. For downward trends, we can use these verbs. Decrease, decreased, fall, fell, decline, declined, drop, dropped, reduce, reduced, slump, slumped, dip, dipped, and these are nouns that we can use. A decrease, a fall, a decline, a reduction, a drop, and a slump. For the other trends, we use these verbs. Level out, level off, remain stable, remain steady, and remain constant. And for noun, a leveling out and a stability. For the last trend, we can use these verbs. Fluctuate, be erratic, oscillate. And for the noun, a fluctuation and an oscillation. Moving on, the standard structure in writing line graph includes introduction, overview, Body Paragraph 1 and Body Paragraph 2. Before we start, we need to check the given writing band descriptors for band 6 and band 9. We have task achievement, coherence and cohesion, lexical resource, and grammatical range and accuracy. In this way, it would be easy for you to identify which example has 6.0 or 9.0 band score as we go over the examples later on. Let's start with the introduction. In this part, you have to describe what the graph shows. And of course, you have to paraphrase the question, which means that you have to reword or express the prompt in other words. We can use three ways such as synonym, word formation, and sentence structure on how to paraphrase. But for now, we will try to combine all the three ways of writing an introduction. We have a separate video lesson about the basic structure of writing these parts. So please don't forget to check it out. Looking at this graph and its prompt, we have these two examples. The data about the rate of cinema audience by age group in the UK in the course of 20 years from 1990 is indicated in the line graph. The line graph below shows the data about cinema attendance in the UK. Can you guess which is band 6 and band 9? Yes, you're correct. It is band 6.0 because most of the words are not paraphrased and some vocabulary are very basic. However, Band 9.0 sample includes advanced vocabulary and important detail, which is the year. Furthermore, overview is the next part of the report. Here, you have to highlight the main features only, without adding the specific details like numbers or percentages. So when we say the main features, you have to include the trend and the highest. Additionally, you have to identify the given periods, whether it is in the past, present, or future. For this given line graph, 
These are the samples for overview. Overall, the rate of all age groups who watch cinema saw fluctuations and upward trends during the period in addition to an all-time high of people who are 44 to 55 years old. Overall, the number of all age groups who watch cinema have fluctuations and the number of all age groups who watch increased. The people who are 44 to 55 years old have the highest, especially in 2010. Which do you think is band 6 and band 9? Are you sure with your answers? Let us see. Both the samples have the main trends and the highest, but this is band 6 and that is band 9. Based on the first band descriptor, which is task achievement, band 6.0 has overview, but some data are not generally selected, while band 9.0 talks about the trends and the highest. Also, band 6.0 sample has verb formation errors and it uses number instead of percentage. Its sentences are also in simple form. For band 9.0, it uses complex form with accuracy and grammar. Did you guess it right? Moreover, this is how we will divide this line graph to write body 1 and body 2. We will write the two oldest age groups, people aged 34 to 54 in body 1, and the two youngest age groups, people aged 14 to 34 in body 2. For writing the body 1, these are the sample answers. Going further into details, as the figure for 44 to 55 age brackets stood the highest with approximately 37% in the initial period, 33 to 44 age groups rate listed the second highest around 36% having a minimal gap of roughly 1%. After 10 years, although both age groups fell gradually, the former, just under 40%, was significantly higher than the latter, well under 40%. Evidently, the oldest age range reached a peak of almost 51% by 2010, whereas the middle-aged audience, 33-44, to 44, recorded just over 40%. Going further into details, the figure for 44 to 55 age brackets had the highest with approximately 37% in the initial period. The figure for 33 to 44 age groups rate listed the second highest, around 36%, having a minimal gap of roughly 1%. After 10 years, although both age groups fell gradually, but the former just under 40% was higher than the latter, well under 40%. Evidently, the oldest age range had almost 51% by 2010, but the middle-aged audience, 33 to 44, had just over 40%. Checking the coherence and cohesion, which do you think is band 6 and band 9? Both the samples use cohesive devices but the other sample does not have cohesion due to some errors in grammar. This sample on the right side uses cohesive devices, but it does not have cohesion because some sentences are grammatically inaccurate and it gets band 6.0, while the sample on the left side uses appropriate cohesive devices, making the paragraphing clear and logical, which gets band 9.0. For lexical resource, let's check the body one. Comparing the two samples, the other one uses more advanced vocabulary and expressions, while the other one uses basic vocabulary. Had the highest compared to stood the highest. Was higher than to was significantly higher than. Had to reach a peak. Had to record it. So now, you can easily guess which sample has 6.0 and 9.0 score. Yes, you're correct. Now, let's check the samples for body 1, which focus on grammatical range and accuracy. Can you guess? 
This sample has a combination of simple sentence and complex sentence, but the other complex sentence is grammatically incorrect, and so it gets a mark of band 6.0. However, the other sample is composed of complex sentences without errors in grammar and it earns band 9.0. So that's it for buddy 1. For writing the buddy 2, these are the sample answers. Meanwhile, despite a constant rise in the rate of 14 to 24 and 24 to 34 age ranges, the youngest remained the least among the others throughout the years, hitting a low point of about 12%. Interestingly, the rating of young adults who are 23 to 34 years old, which ranked the third, was constantly 10 to 11% larger than the youngest from 1990 to 2010. Meanwhile, the rate of 14 to 24 and 24 to 34 age ranges rose. The youngest remained the smallest among the others throughout the years with about 12%. Interestingly, the rating of young adults who are 23 to 34 years old was the third. The rating of young adults who are 23 to 34 years old was 10 to 11% larger than the youngest from 1990 to 2010. Checking the coherence and cohesion, which do you think is band 6 and band 9? Both the samples use cohesive devices, but the other sample only marks 6.0 because some categories are repeated, which shows lack of referencing skills. For lexical resource, let's check the body too. Comparing the two samples, the other one uses more advanced vocabulary and expressions like a constant rise, the least, ranked the third, was constantly 10% to 11% larger, while the other one uses basic vocabulary such as rose, the smallest, was the third, larger than, and some errors in spelling the words remained and throughout also occur. So now you can easily guess which sample has 6.0 and 9.0 score. Did you get it? Yes, you're correct. Now, let's check the samples for body 2 which focus on grammatical range and accuracy. Can you guess which sample gets band 6.0 and 9.0? All the sentences in this sample are in simple sentence structure. However, the other sample is composed of various complex sentences without errors in grammar. So we now know that the sample with more simple sentences gets band 6.0, while the sample with various sentences earns band 9.0. And that's it for body 2. Finally, this is how a band 9.0 line graph report looks like. The data about the rate of cinema audience by age group in the UK in the course of 20 years from 1990 is indicated in the line graph. Overall, the rate of all age groups who watch cinema saw fluctuations and upward trends during the period in addition to an all-time high of people who are 44 to 55 years old. Going further into details, as the figure for 44 to 55 age bracket stood the highest, with approximately 37% in the initial period, 33 to 44 age groups rate listed the second highest, around 36%, having a minimal gap of roughly 1%. After 10 years, Although both age groups fell gradually, the former, just under 40%, was significantly higher than the latter, well under 40%. Evidently, the oldest age range reached a peak of almost 51% by 2010, whereas the middle-aged audience, 33 to 44, recorded just over 40%. Meanwhile, Despite a constant rise in the rate of 14 to 24 
and 24 to 34 age ranges, the youngest remained the least among the others throughout the years, hitting a low point of about 12%. Interestingly, the rating of young adults who are 23 to 34 years old, which ranked the third, was constantly 10% to 11% larger than the youngest from 1990 to 2010. Thank you for studying with us. Please subscribe to our channel to be updated to all our upcoming video lessons. If you find it useful, please press like. And if you have questions, please put it under the video.